how are you guys this is ibu learning the place to develop your cabvm skills today video i am going to show you how to install and manage dynamo packages the package is a collection of nodes these are free and ready to download and use so these are the In previous video, we already saw how to override color of Revit elements by Dynamo scripts. Now let's jump to Revit and go to Manage tab and then open Dynamo. Here just you can get the sample files and dynamic tutorials also in the startup page you can see here just open new file and then move to packages and try to and just go to search packages and then uh, you have to wait a little bit okay because this is uh, depend on the online searching and then you are going to find the package which package you want so here I'm just going to find give you some I mean what uh, some most useful packages what we are using generally okay so our lab okay, these are the uh, this is these are some packages I will show you here these are really I mean uh, very useful and uh, if you have to work on that one you really you need it, that I mean on daily basis so you have to check that okay what uh, is the revit version you are using these packages as per that you have to check so these are all all the revit version it's available okay so now i'm using revit 2021 and we already check uh, the dynamo version it was 2.6 okay so as per this i'm just going to install the same And then you can see it's installing downloading and then it will be installed the package okay and then I'm just going to this already you can see the left side is already finished the installation then I am going to find another uh, package take a lunch box okay lunch box is also very I mean useful package and then uh, you can go and find the specific version of this what you required and then you can install it here so we already saw that we had already installed two packages here and then i show you one more package genius loki this is also i'm using time to time okay so you can go and find the your uh, uh, Revit and Dynamo version as per uh, any required version and then you can go and select that to install it will download and install the same package for me it's Revit 2021 as you as I told you that uh, this is the package version I need that one you can check it from here from help and then you can find which version of the Dynamo you are using and then you can install the same package and now all the version we have already installed so one by one you can install many packages whichever you require this is the same way you can go and you can use all the packages whatever package you are installing it is uh, I mean installing in your uh, a package uh, manager folder the, uh, you can check it what is the location of that folder and you, even you can use it on the uh, I mean uh, transfer in the future if you want or you are changing the system or uh, for any I mean you can transfer that from one system to another system the packages it's fully I mean installing on the your system here is the complete package and then you can use it later 
when you don't have to install again and again if you install one time full package so same uh, dynamo version you can use it again and again if you have backup for the package how you can check it you have to go to the again packages and you can see in these all packages are installed in the computer you just right click here and it will show you the root directory of this and then from there you can go and check the install packages here from your system it is installing in the Revit uh, uh, I mean uh, file location from the program and uh, you can copy and you can use it anywhere even you can uninstall from here the packages also from the same option you can see here we installed the, these three packages just now and it's showing here okay, if you have back you want to keep the backup you just copy and keep it somewhere for the future if you are going to upgrade your window or you are reinstalling uh, this uh, Revit again so you can use it different there from here you can get the uh, if you have a backup and you want to use that one from your uh, different drives like a D drive or E drive or external hard disk so you can go and uh, you can import it from that location and then you can use it here so it will be at that location here in the manage nodes and package path and it will be added here even you can remove add the path here so it will be future for your future any uses you can use it so here just I if I don't need I'll just go to select and then I will remove that one and then apply accept changes and then click ok it will be changed thanks for watching please subscribe for upcoming videos thank you